so I have a couple quick messages here for somebody. Um, this is for a very specific energy group, and then I'm going to get into some love readings because I know this is probably only for like a couple people at most. But the first message I got was somebody is anxious to just buy a house right away, and they're not really they're not really thinking clearly. Like they're, it seems like a man probably like or someone in like a masculine energy that's just getting overly excited and they just want a house right away to the point where they're willing to lie to the real estate agent if possible, or they're willing to, um, like they're thinking, fuck it, I'll work 40, 50, 60 hours a week for the next 10, 20 years to pay for this house. I don't care. I'll do it. Like they're just, they're just, they're, they're trying to skip ahead. They're just so anxious to finally own a house that they're, they're looking at houses that they can't afford. So for this person, it's kind of saying like, take a step back um, buy a house that you can actually afford, like be honest with yourself about your debt to income ratio. Like if you have to buy a house right now, then at least buy a more affordable one, buy a cheaper one. And you could always, you know, pay towards it and save that money and then buy a bigger house later on down the road. But, um, basically if you just jump into things and you buy something that you can't afford without, you know, taking your time and say, or saving your money, um, and really being completely ready for it, you're going to have a lot of unexpected expenses that come with this house that you're just not going to be ready for. And I think it's going to put you in like a bad mental health state. Like it's just going to be a lot. It's like realistically, you might have a lot of energy and excitement right now in this moment, like thinking like, screw it, like I'll work 20 years to pay this 20, 30 years. I'll work, you know, whatever job I'm doing, I'll, you know, do whatever I need to do to pay for this house. But it, it's like, you need to think about your mental health too. That's a lot that's you're, you're getting ahead of yourself a little bit here for somebody you know and you're going to be overworked and you're going to be kind of exhausted with that so it, it's kind of like saying like just hold off and make sure you find the right house and make sure it's something that you can afford and like I said you can always get something cheap and affordable and sell that down the road when you're when you've got some more money saved and you can buy a bigger house then it's not saying to give up on your dream it's just saying to take more logical steps towards that dream and just because you have the energy to work 20, 30 years right now, like the last six months, you might, maybe you've got like a new job or something and you're excited about all the money that's coming in, but you still need to ground yourself and be logical and be balanced so that you don't just like end up in a situation where the house is taking all of your money and you're basically in poverty. Like you can't travel, you can't have fun, you can't do anything, you know, you're just stressed. Um, for storyline number two... For storyline number two, I feel like this to me is like a house because we got sudden wealth, we got gift, and we got family room. So it's like, like this could be, I feel like this could be like a house from like, this could be like a marriage or something. Um, like if you're getting married, I think this could be saying like, make sure, because we have message of concern and we have marriage. So I almost feel like it's kind of saying like, make sure you sign like a prenup make sure that even if you trust this person, it's still good to like make sure like if you've been doing all this hard work, like this is for someone that probably already has like their own house. And it's like, if you've been doing all this hard work, even if you want to get married, it's still good to, um, to like sign the, the proper paper so that, you know, just in case like 10, 20 years down the road, this person can't just take your house. Cause it feels like with courthouse, it feels like either you there's a couple of different stories. So for one, I think that you need to take someone to court. That could be for someone where it's like you need to take someone to court and, um, you know, get the house that you've, you've paid into. It's like it feels like it could be someone that's um, like I almost get like a squatter kind of energy where it's almost like someone that might be. Um, OK, so there's two different stories here. So for the squatter energy, I get that this is like a friend or like a roommate or someone that's like not wanting to leave your house, like someone that's just like, like feels entitled. And it's like you need to they're trying to gaslight you into thinking that you don't have a, a case in court. Like they're trying to say like, oh, I have squatters rights. Like I've been here a year, two years. Um, and this feels like a friend. So for this storyline, this doesn't feel romantic. This actually feels like there's three different stories here. OK, that's why I was getting jumbled for a minute there. So for storyline two, it feels like, it just feels like a squatter or something that's like trying to manipulate you into thinking like, oh, you, you know, you have no case in court. Like they're trying to gaslight you basically. And it's saying you actually do have a case in court. Like this is your home. I feel like the court case would be successful. You would get your home back. Um, 
So yeah, someone needs to take someone to court. The third storyline is I think that someone could potentially want to take you to court. And that's just saying like, you know, if you're getting into a marriage, like if this is like, an, like someone that you're, you've proposed to, that you're getting married to, um, it's not saying that they're out to get you. It's not saying that they're just after your money. It's just one of those situations where it's like, you don't know what's going to happen 20, 30 years from now. You know what I mean? It's like, you guys could stay together forever, but you, you know, you might not. So it's, it's one of those situations where it's like, just, just watch yourself, just be, be protective. This, this energy group just kind of needs to be protective and be logical with their money and um, be protective of your home, basically. So I hope that helps someone. And I'm going to get into some love readings now because I'm sorry. I know it's probably, you know, this is only for three people here. So this is not for the majority of you. 